back to Ryan's EDC Painting Area. Today we're going to be having a look at another Vostade. So, uh, first things first, let's address the change in packaging. That is a thing. Here, let me grab a original Vostade box. my sealed nightshade brass original limited edition this is what they used to come in this uh, metal tin nice cardboard outer and i am of the opinion that this is a result of complaints now several of the boxes that got shipped out the metal ones wound up getting crushed in transit and I understand it's hard you know trusting a carrier to actually get your package where it's supposed to go without it being completely destroyed but enough people complained that I feel this is the end result that they switched to something a little more I suppose or less um destructible but also a lot less classy so uh, let's move on to what the product is. This is a Vostid Corgi in copper, straight grain, not the frag pattern. And let's get right into it. Yes, I'm still carrying this knife for review. At the present moment, I won't be carrying this in for a little bit, I don't think. Um, just because I have a couple other knives that I'm still testing and I can't can't be carrying 15 different knives on my person all the time just using each one like oh this box I'm going to open with the Vostid and this box I'm going to open with the MSI it's, I, I do need to get some of those updated I just have uh, been going through a rough time lately I suppose I've said that quite a bit on this channel and it's all been true it's just been for the last year really really rough but I'm getting through it guys um, oop. we've got a cool little warranty ticket here. Is that a booklet? It is a booklet. How to maintain in multiple languages and a safety guide. Warranty. Nice little plastic key set up there. And I'm not complaining too much about the new packaging. It's nice. Still. Um, we got a Vosti patch here, which is nice. Got a little cover on the back. Got a Corgi sticker, which is adorable. I've been wanting a Corgi for a long while. I just haven't been able to get one until now. Um, I saw the copper and I just I had to jump on it. Got a little cleaning cloth here. It says Vosti on it. That's nice. And our Corgi itself. So the Corgi is not a particularly large knife. Um, never was really meant to be. It's a gentleman's folder, if you will. And gentlewomen, for all those <clears throat> female half of the EDC collectors out there. I know you're less common, but I also know you exist, so don't deny it. Now, this is a, like, first impressions, a very heavy knife. I like that. I love a heavy knife. If you uh, if you watch one of my very first reviews, it was the Brass Civivi um, Backlash, one of my favorite knives, and it's actually the intro to this uh, channel at this point. It, it, that's the knife that you see every single time it opens. So I, I love brass and copper, and I love heavy knives. Uh, there's just something I, I like about them. Second impression is this is a stunning knife. Uh, I was really torn between the frag and the straight grain, but I'm, I'm kind of glad that I went with the straight grain here. The pocket clip is dead center, which kind of gives it more symmetry. Um, yeah, it looks dead center anyways. We've got a little pivot here, little pivot there. A really small pivot, actually. I've never seen one that small. Again, I haven't had a corgi before, though, so I'm not sure. We have another here. These appear to be T8s. Maybe T6s on the screws. It's hard to tell. Um, we have a plastic backspacer. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't mind plastic myself. 
uh, probably FRN or G10, and a little lanyard loop right there. Um, following, we have the button because this is actually a Trek lock. Now, how do you tell with the Vostate if it's a Trek lock or a plunge lock? If you see that um, texture there on the button, that tends to be the Trek lock. And what's special about the Trek lock is just uh, everything is inside of the tang instead of being outside. Uh, you can open it with the button with just a flick. There is some oil on the blade. Really nice satin finish there. It says Corgi on one side, Nitro V and Vostied. Really not huge, not plastered all over the place. Just some very simple wordage. I got Kershaw you've got on this side, you got the flag and it says Kershaw and Kai and on this side it says something else, you know. You, I, I like how Vosti kind of tucks it down there, tucks it away so it's not this, it's it's not just all over the place. They don't need it all over the place. If, if you're holding one of their products, you know, generally, as long as you know Vosti. This is a very nice knife. Um... The blade is pretty dead on center. Kind of hard to see that. Uh, we got a nice firm pocket clip. They changed to steel after the titanium had some issues. From what I understand, a lot of people were having that bend out. And I, uh, I do like the stainless steel. I think that's nice. We've got ugh, a jig. <clears throat> So we've got three ways to open this knife. You got the button, you got the front flip, and you have the standard back flipper. Now the action on this is astounding. Look at that! Just wow. If you uh, oh man, I like that. Now be aware with the Trek lock that it does have a tendency to uh, leave sometimes. A uh, really good way to get around that is to just take your thumb untwist the button all the way it'll just unscrew off a little screw top and uh apply some blue loctite screw it back on there it'll be fine it'll stay there forever um i did that with my thunderbird i did that with my valkyries and none of them had a problem after that although be very careful not to get any if you're using the liquid if you're using the paste it's not an issue but if you're using the liquid be sure that doesn't get anywhere on the internals because that stuff will jam the whole knife up. I had, I almost broke a knife doing that. <laughs> Just a little tiny bit right on the screw head and that's all you need. All right, so next thing's next. We have a very good edge on this knife. Let's find some paper. As always, hunting for paper on this channel. It's a constant hunt. Don't send me paper. You don't have my PL box because I don't have one. And that's okay. Now, <laughs> as I've seen that happen to some other uh, YouTubers, I like even the smaller ones. Like, and they'll be like, well, give me your address. I'll send you paper. I'm like, or just like one was batteries. Now, a good way to get paper from paper is to cut it off of paper. Um, this is very thin paper. It is slightly damp because I have a swamp cooler in my house, so that tells you that this is going to be some very difficult paper to cut. Um, ooh. That's, I told you, very difficult paper to cut. Specifically, I, you have thin paper, you have a damp environment, this is just not going to be easy. But that first slice is a really good indication of what this thing is capable of, like that. Um, that is not the edge, I assure you. That is just simply the paper that I am using. Uh, to prove that, I will get this plastic that this came wrapped in because I have no regard for original packaging, and I'll just cut through that as well. Pretty smooth. And to demonstrate, I also have a Buck 110 with a razor-sharp shaven edge on there. And it'll probably have that same difficulty so again it's not the knife it is the paper um, 
yeah that is sharp that is really really sharp it tears at the texture on my thumb so i will assure you there are no issues here while we're here i will compare it to the size of the 110 because this is one of the most common knives in america you might not be in america if you own a corgi but it's probably the most likely place for it so there you go uh, I know some people in the UK even have 110s. They just can't really carry them in the public. And you can use them for, like, housework and stuff, though. Um, let's wrap up with some just final thoughts. Uh, this thing is, like, right off the bat, because this is just my initial review. And, yes, I'm, I'm actually going to throw this in my pocket now. Um, I need to do the follow-up review on the MSI and finally get out of my pocket. I've just been enjoying it. Um, I love how symmetrical this knife is. They've gone out of their way to make this thing as symmetrical as they can. And obviously there's the impossibility with the pocket clip side and the face side, but what they've done is they put everything in the middle. And everything that isn't in the middle is even on both sides. We have a perfectly flat lever to lever flipper front flipper um the back side we have nothing just spacer and that of course that's not symmetrical but you know what i'm talking about here we have two copper scales sandwiched over two steel liners with one blade in the middle ears pivot to pivot it's just I love the symmetry of it, and there's something so, like, ancient Atlantean technology about this, you know what I mean, with that straight copper worn grain, you know what I mean? It's just, like, I can't, I don't think the camera is doing this justice. Um, it's just stunning, and with how heavy it is. If you don't like a heavy knife, get the normal Corgi, because that thing's going to come in G10. You're not going to have issues with it. It's uh, It's a nice knife. My dad has one. I haven't had one myself, but it's a lot lighter than this, and it's still very, very similar. I can assure you that almost everything will be identical except for that copper. Uh, I think it's even still Nitro V. But down to the point, my God, this knife is amazing. Just that action, the, the flippiness of it. Even the front flipper, it screams to get out of there, you know what I mean? And... Um, just like this thing is like a worry stone i could just sit here and and like roll this around in my hand all day long i uh i really really like this knife like right off the bat i, I have no issues with it immediately no i'm not going to do the spine whack unless y'all want to send me the 60 bucks to buy another corgi and spine whack that because when it's a button lock, even a truck lock, there's always the chance that that'll fail. Now, it, <laughs> let's address that really fast. And I know I'm going a little off the rail here, but if you want something that's not going to fail, get this. Get that. Or, or even, I just had this on screen, get this, because that back lock is solid as hell. I will spine whack either of these all day long and not worry about it. Uh, get an OTF. That, that won't spine whack. Um, but when it comes to a button lock, we're not talking about the most rugged item on the planet. And again, this is labeled a gentleman's knife. This is used for, I don't know, opening packages, cutting open letters. And yes, I would personally whittle with it. I would personally do pretty much anything with it because I trust it. But the second you t the second you take a, a work of art like this and you start trying to break it, there's the chance that it will. Um, I don't think that this is going to have anywhere near the issue that the plunge lock did way back on the first raccoon. That was addressed and that was fixed. Um, don't worry about the truck lock. It's been solid. I've never had one collapse ever. <sighs> now that's out of the way just a mini rant yes i do believe this knife is solid and yes i will spine whack one if you all want to send me the 60 bucks to buy another one i'll do that um or you can do it yourself i suppose either way but i can show that to everyone that watches this channel 
Either way, uh, I trust this knife. I trust its capabilities. And I've trusted every single knife that's had a Trek lock. Um, with that on the table, right now, my rating on this is 9 of 10. Why isn't it 10 of 10? Because I'd like it in 154 cm. Otherwise, I like it. I like it a lot. And also, that's not... Uh, don't give me that it's the white power symbol because of W. That's not what that is. You know, I meant perfect. <sighs> Social media these days. Anyways, have a good night, guys. And I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, like it. If you don't, don't. And uh, maybe leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you think of this, that, and whatever else you want to talk about. Uh, if you want to see anything specific on the channel, I will try to get to it. Just leave a comment uh, down in the comments below. And I will try to get around to it. Now, with updates, I'm going to film a couple of them right now because I have time. I am getting around to it, guys. I promise. I'm just struggling. A little bit of patience goes a long way. Thank you and have a good night.